So did you know that current evidence has shown that CBD has considerable potential as a treatment for multiple anxiety disorders. You don't wanna miss this video because this could take you to the next level in your anxiety relief. Please stay tuned for the entire video because I will also be giving my experience with CBD and what it did for me and my anxiety. Stay tuned. So I have tried CBD for anxiety and there have been many other people who tried it. I looked up reviews and did research and many people are reporting that they're getting anxiety relief from CBD. So I'm going to answer seven questions about CBD that would help you understand and make an informed decision about whether it would be good for you to treat your anxiety or not. I have tried it. I'm gonna give that experience as well. So let's get to question number one. So what is CBD? So CBD is actually short for cannabidiol. So a cannabis plant or marijuana plant has many chemicals. Two of the most well-known chemicals are THC and CBD. So THC is responsible for that intoxicating feeling that you feel whenever you use marijuana. CBD on the other hand is also a chemical in a cannabis plant, marijuana plant, it does not create the same intoxicating effects as THC. So many people have started using CBD oils and things of that nature for that reason, because you get some of the similar effects of calm without the feeling of being high. Question number two, does CBD really work for anxiety? So research has shown that increasing serotonin levels in your body and brain can also help you to relieve anxiety. And this is why antidepressants are prescribed for anxiety many times, because antidepressants have been shown to increase serotonin levels. Well, according to research, CBD also has some of the similar effects that antidepressants have on the brain. So most research is still in the early stages about CBD. And there are some factors that will affect whether it works well for you or not for your anxiety. Some of those factors are the dose that you use, the brand that you use, and please understand that not all brands are equal because some are better than others. Also, genetics could play a very big factor in whether CBD works well for your body or not. And of course, the severity of your condition will also have an effect on whether CBD is helpful. Question number three, how do you take CBD? Well, it comes in many forms. I have used the oil. So there's the option of using oils. There's the option of using drops. There are edibles, there are capsules, there are teas, and also, vapors that you can use for CBD consumption. Question number four, what are the cons of taking CBD oil? So although many studies have been done, usually the amount of people involved in the studies is kind of small. So the results don't necessarily represent the general population. And studies don't always take into consideration the long-term effects of using CBD for anxiety. Another con is that there are no known guidelines for dosage for CBD. So when you take it, it's kind of like trial and error, trying to figure out how much or how little you should take. And because research is still fairly new, they have not defined an accurate dose for anxiety yet. A final con is that CBD can interact negatively with other medications. So you have to be very careful, especially if you're taking antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications, may not be a good idea to mix CBD with those medications. So because of these factors, you should definitely consult with your doctor before trying CBD. Question number five, is CBD legal? So states have legalized CBD to certain degrees, but there are still some restrictions on growth, sale, and possession in some states. So you want to check with the laws of your state in order to be sure about CBD. Question number six, will CBD show up on a drug test? So if you choose to use CBD, there are many forms. Some of them have small traces of THC. Again, THC is the thing that causes intoxicating 
feelings or the feeling of being high. However, there are some other brands and forms that do not have any traces of THC and are more pure in their form. And this may affect how it affects a drug test. For example, if you use a CBD that has small traces of THC, drug tests usually are looking for THC. So it may show a positive result. However, if the CBD oil or whatever form you choose is pure, you should have no problems with it showing up on a drug test. Question number seven and the last question, will CBD make you high? The answer, well, I just talked about it in the previous question. It depends on the purity of the CBD that you use. I have to tell you that I chose the purest form of CBD that I could find through a company that I did a lot of research on. And the CBD that I chose had little to no traces of THC involved in it. I use Metterra. Metterra is a company that produces CBD oil and other kinds of supplements. And I did my research, looked at their reviews, and they seem to be the best company to go with. And I, again, had no side effects or any kind of high feeling from using their product. So I hope I answer any questions you have about CBD. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you for coming back time and time again. I appreciate it. Also, I have a joke video that I'm going to put up in a couple days because we as anxiety sufferers and OCD sufferers, we need to laugh. Even if you just have any mental health issue, laughter is so good. I'm putting up a joke video of me just telling jokes and trying to help you cheer up. So please look for that video this week and please come back again and again. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.